Amen. You can all be seated. Well, welcome to church, everybody. Welcome to Harvest Riverside, or welcome Harvest Riverside as well. We have a very special guest with us here today at church. And um, <laughs> actor Dennis Quaid has been in over 70 films over a 50-year career. It's kind of hard to believe. And you've probably seen some of these films, Breaking Away, The Right Stuff, uh, there he is in The Right Stuff, Great Balls of Fire, where he plays Jerry Lee Lewis, and uh, Wyatt Earp, I thought one of his amazing roles, and he played Doc Holliday in Wyatt Earp. And uh, of course, uh, I've been asked to remember to mention The Parent Trap, which is a, a lot of Parent Trap fans. I personally think, uh, oh, and he's also going to be in a movie coming out soon on the life of Ronald Reagan. So it hasn't released yet, but that's coming. That's Dennis, not Reagan there. <laughs> but um, so there's Reagan, and did pretty close, pretty close. And also, I think his greatest performance personally is when he played the father of Bart, and I can only imagine. That to me was... Yeah. Academy Award worthy, in my opinion. Well, Dennis is also a very outspoken about his faith in Jesus Christ. And he's... I can only imagine it's not his only faith film that he's done. He also was in American Underdog and Wing and a Prayer and quite a few others as well. And he's also a musician. Oh, I failed to mention one thing. Uh, they did a recent issue of People Magazine where he talked about his faith in Christ recently. You might have seen it out on the newsstands. But uh, Dennis is also a musician, and he has a new record out. It, the title of it is Fallen, uh, and it's Gospel Songs for Sinners. I like that. Gospel Songs for Sinners. So Dennis is going to do a song off that record called On My Way to Heaven. Then I'm going to interview him a little bit and to do another song as well. So let's give a warm harvest welcome to Dennis Quay. Well, good morning or good afternoon, sweet people. I'm gonna do a song, and this is the first song I wrote for the record, which also kind of wound up in, I can only imagine, uh, and I wrote it for my mother after uh, I uh, got out of rehab, what I, what I called cocaine school back in 1990, uh, to let her know that I was okay. And, uh, uh, but it was, uh, it's also about, the, I was always a Christian, grew up at the Baptist church, but this was, this was really the beginnings of my personal relationship with, with Jesus, which started after that. Up until then, I'd been trying to do it my way all my life, and uh, that didn't work out so well. But uh, it's, it's a happy song. Could you, you could turn my guitar down just a little bit of my monitor? Thank you.
in a solitary cell Sentenced by a judge and jury of myself Then he blessed me, forgave me Touched me with his blood Shine down all his glory from above That's great. Tell me, tell me about that song. You said you wrote it for your mother. So yeah, you, I, I wrote it uh, after I got out of uh, rehab, which right. I call cocaine school. Yeah. You know, getting rid of that. And I, did a, I wrote it to let her know I was okay. Yeah. And my mom was always the rock of my life. Wow. Uh, she, I, uh, she passed about three years ago. And... Um, then the, but so fast forward to we're doing I can only imagine yeah which is a story of about a son who writes a song for a father yes and um, they had Andy Irwin who directed it you know, had heard the song and uh, he put it in the he put it in the, in the movie which is you know I wrote it for my mother so it kind of seemed fitting and he said well you need a bridge though so I went to my trailer and I wrote a bridge like in 15 minutes so I like to say that it took me 30 years and 15 minutes to write it <laughs> yes <so. laughs> it's, it's a story of your life really isn't it well yeah and the, the, the record is the whole record it's called fallen a uh, gospel record for sinners because I wanted the largest uh, uh, possible audience yeah, yeah. for it you know <laughs> starting with myself and uh, uh, you know, because that's the thing about being a Christian, you know, is like Jesus is there and then you're, uh, you, know, you really have a personal relationship with him, which took me a long time to actually figure out. Uh, you know, it, it really is like surf pro. It's uh, sins wiped away. It's yeah. like a clean slate that you start from that moment. That's right. And, you know, that doesn't mean that everything's squeaky clean from yeah. then on or whatever, but it's... You, you know what that is, and uh, 
I think it's what Christianity has got going for it uh, compared to the other great religions of the world is that it's a personal relationship with That's God. Right. That's right. exactly right. Yeah. So in your movie career, you've played so many different characters. You played Jerry Lee Lewis in Great Balls of Fire. And actually, you didn't know how to play piano. So no. you spent a year learning piano with others teaching you, including yes. Jerry Lee himself, right? Yeah, Jerry Lee was one of my teachers. You know, to have Jerry Lee Lewis teaching you. And I had a year to prepare for it. And it's really about the left hand, about... Yeah getting that to go and just keep going because yeah. it's a very athletic move. You know, to be, <laughs> but once you get the left hand, it's, it doesn't matter what you play on the right hand, actually. Right. Uh, but <laughs> and, uh, he, was, he was over my shoulder the entire time going, you're getting it wrong, son. Because <laughs> he liked to come to the set. <laughs> did, did he? <laughs> yes, he did. Well, anything that was about him, he, he loved that. <laughs> now, in your um, roles that you've done, you're, you're in this film about Reagan. Yeah. So, what would Ronald Reagan say right now, do you think? Well, I would uh, think that he would say that here we are in a shining city on a hill. Yes. Orange County. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And that's not the only president you played in a film. You also played Bill Clinton. Yes, I did. <laughs> that's right. Shining city on a hill. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a whole career. You can do stand-up presidents. <laughs> if, the, if the acting thing doesn't work out, you know, yeah, you've got, that's all got that as a back pocket. Good thing. things keep in your back pocket. <laughs> yes. So, Dennis, you know, what I appreciate about you is just what you just said. I mean, you're a very successful actor. You've had a very long career. But yet you're standing here talking about your faith in Jesus Christ. And a lot, I think there are people in Hollywood that, that are believers that maybe are not as outspoken as you are. And do you, is this just because you've come to a point where you're saying, hey, this is what I believe, so I'm going to say it, or I don't really care? Or why would others not be as maybe as bold as you are? I think, you know, in my, in my time, I think I, like everybody else, have felt some sort of... Uh, Embarrassment? Yeah. Uh, you know, like, it's like I don't want to uh, offend people or whatever, but yeah. it's, you know, it's, it came to a point where it's just, I am who I am. And this is, yeah. you know, Jesus told us to go out and spread this out. That's right. You know, it's called the good news is what it is. And I think a lot of people are kept out because of that. Wow. Because they're, I don't know if people, there certainly is enough going on that is like uh, kind of contra to, yeah. to it. So you need to step up and, and, and speak out, I yeah. think. I, I needed to. And it's just for myself even, yeah. you know, it's, it's inside that's, that's what we're here to do. That's right. It's called fellowship. Yeah. That's why we're all here. And there, man, there feels some great fellowship in here. That's for sure. Yeah. From back to front. But I... When I first met you, it's so funny how I met you because I, I, I was aware of what you do and all that. And I'm friends with John Irwin. We're mutual friends. John directed Jesus Revolution. And uh, so we're at a little event. And John says, I'm going to interview Dennis. I want to introduce you to him. It said, great. And then he says, I'm sick. Can you interview Dennis instead? So, <laughs> well, okay. So I walked up and I'm literally getting to know you better. But one of the things you said to me was I had a dream about playing at your church. I did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was it, my wife. My wife Laura told me about you and uh, your church. And, you know, I was talking about uh, the Jesus Revolution. I remember the Jesus Revolution back when it, you know, it happened in the '70s. I thought, wow, yeah. that is like it, uh, it was so fantastic. It was. I remember the feeling of those yeah. times too, yes. which was pretty amazing. And yeah, it was heady and. Um, and I had a, I said, gosh, I, I really want to meet that guy. I really want to go to his church. And, and I had a dream about, about playing uh, in, in your church just and out of the blue. Yeah. That was before I made the record or anything. And well, then here we are. Really? We met. And yeah, we met, what, a month and a half ago? About that, like, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. in Texas. Yeah. Where you're from yeah. originally. So you have a song you're going to do now off your new record called Fallen. Tell us about this song. Uh, this is... 
uh, the, the whole record uh, is, is really kind of my spiritual journey. And yeah. this is a prodigal son story, hmm. which I guess has happened to me in my life. Yeah. Maybe one or two times. I don't know. But uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a prodigal son, which, which is really, uh, in the Baptist church, it's a big deal. And it's, uh, I think so many people can relate to that. All right. Uh, being, because uh, you, get, you get fooled sometimes, you know, and you're fooling yourself most of the time. And uh, anyway, I'll just play it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Welcome Thank Dennis you. Quaid. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for having me here today. I, I really appreciate it. It's been a, really a wonderful. Okay. When for a door I down the devil's highway, my eternal soul by the bread. I was determined that the world was turning my way. Wound up beside the road, left for day. Now I'm falling, I'm falling, feeling so low. All I want to do is go back home. Talk the different screen, wrong and right. I was my mama's precious angel. I was my daddy's little man, alright. I had everything I needed to make me something to my life. But bad things happen to good people when you're riding with the devil. Dennis Quaid. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis.
Wasn't that great? I love it. Wow. Powerful message.